Hello everyone, this is Mr. Sean giving you my response to discussion board six. One of the questions from discussion board six, is there a double standard in terms of gender when it comes to the communication of emotion? So essentially this particular question is asking you, uh, does society, especially here in America, uh, does society have a double standard when it comes to men and women communication, communicating their particular emotions and we can answer in the United States we do. Uh, there is some sort of double standard here meaning we believe or uh, on the whole society dictates that males should express this particular type of emotion, females should uh, express this particular type of emotion and there are certain places to where we do express those emotions whether you be male or female in certain places that you do not. When it talks about expressing those emotions, though, you could honestly argue that we are, are we're, we're improving here in America. Uh, we're improving in terms of uh, what is, and if you could see me right now, I'm doing air quotes, what's socially acceptable, in air quotes, uh, for uh, emotion expressing when it comes to being a male and being female, where you can express your emotions, and what expressing that particular emotion is going to get you in terms of uh, your relationship, in terms of your job, in terms of um, judgment, even then, within society. One thing I want you to be aware of is a term we call the unexpressive male. And this particular term can also be called the cowboy syndrome. Essentially, uh, it's where males uphold this idea that they have to be rough, they have to be rugged, they have to be tough, um, and you've heard the phrase, boys don't cry, uh, you're a boy, you shouldn't be crying, uh, you shouldn't be essentially expressing the emotions that are labeled as being more feminine and not being as masculine. And this can cause fathers in and of themselves to mask their particular emotions. And fathers mask their emotions more than mothers, and that can be attributed to not only this particular unexpressive male or cowboy syndrome, but also attributed to what society dictates we should do with our emotions. Because society has dictated or this socially constructed role, this socially constructed norm, that you are the male, that you have to be the strong one, it thereby then causes this false idea that fathers must mask their particular emotions, which then causes children to learn uh, how emotions should be handled. So if you look at males today, keep in mind, if you think to yourself, my father doesn't show any emotion, my husband doesn't show any emotion, my brother doesn't show any emotion, chances are neither did their father, neither did their brothers, neither did their uncles, neither did their grandfathers. So it's one of those things where children learn to express emotions based upon what they see uh, in the household, whether that's between mom and dad, mom and mom, or dad and dad. However, the unexpressive male is not a good thing. Um, males not being able to adequately express their emotion can influence and impact relationships later in life. Why? Because when you get older as an adult, sometimes males can't adequately express how they emotionally feel because it's something that they've never done before or it's something that they've never been taught to do before, or it's something that they've been told throughout their life, you cannot show that emotion, or you must mask that particular emotion. And what influences this? Some things as, this is what my father taught me, this is what my grandfather taught me, this is what my uncle taught me, this is what society says I should do, or just because they're scared. They're fearful of what would happen should they express the proper emotion that they want to express. So does this impact females? That answer is yes. Uh, you're starting to see a lot more research that shows that females are starting to embrace this cowboy syndrome that was mostly put upon males, especially when you talk about females in the executive role or in the workplace. Uh, too often we get this idea, or too often women are stereotyped. Uh, that's why you don't see a lot of women today in CEO roles, and you could ask, you can honestly assert this is one of the reasons why uh, the United States of America has not had a female president as of today, because this socially constructed idea that females are too emotional, uh, and, and they can be too emotional in terms of 
trying to be a leader or trying to be the one in charge. So you're starting to see a lot more females try to implement this cowboy syndrome for fear that they will be labeled as too emotional and too emotional and people who are labeled as too emotional get also labeled as you're not able to lead because you're only leading on emotion. However, that's where hypocr uh, hypocrisy comes into play, being a hypocrite. Because when males get very emotional in their particular leadership positions, we don't describe males. When I say we, I'm talking about society. We don't describe males as being too emotional to lead. We describe males as having strength and leadership. And so what I want you to take from this response is, why is that? Someone said, I had a student a couple of semesters ago said, uh, we can't have a female president. They're too emotional. So they'll just start wars all the time based off emotion. And my response was, all we've had are male presidents. So every war we've had has been started by a male that was too emotional. So why is it that when we look at these leadership positions, when men implore the same emotion as a female, a female can be decried as being too emotional, but a male will be looked at as having strength and leadership. Something to think about. Excellent answers on this particular discussion board. I can't wait to view your uh, coming responses in the upcoming discussion boards.